All right, well, this morning, we're gonna, um, not hunting. But I got a couple good, good men that are gonna give me a hand, helping hand. I got a new little spot that I picked up, and, uh, look who showed up. What's up? <laughs> So Colin from Kentucky. Yeah, so Colin, uh, he actually lives not too far from me. And uh, he's gonna come hang out with me this weekend. We're gonna hunt a little public land. But first we're gonna work on a food plot. And we're about to go meet my other buddy, Nick Thompson. And he's bringing a tractor. We're gonna go have some fun. Hopefully this doesn't take too long and we can uh, tend to some deer. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> I need my coffee this morning. T, look at him. Look at the killer. The, the, De the Dexter killer. What y'all doing? <laughs> you What's right? going on, buddy? Yeah. Waiting on y'all. You just taking a little cat nap? Let me let me introduce y'all to old Nick right here. Nick's got a little trucking company. What's it called? GNN. GNN. Nick runs all over the place. Let me tell you another thing about Nick. <laughs> this mug is dependable. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. But anyhow, he's got his tractor here. We're going to dive off into this little back side of this property. Looks good. What you think, Nick? Might have old Buckhead on it? Okay. He said, Nick says he's in here. So we're going to, um, I've got the road mapped out with flagging how I want to build it, how I want to build the access. And. I got the food plot mapped out, so we're gonna get to work. Hopefully we're done within two hours. That's the goal. I'm about to show it to y'all and then we'll get to work. It's gonna go like that, all the way out, all the way around, to right here. Think we got some work to do. That's right. Think MT. They ate it up. They ate it up. Put this out. I mean, it's just a little bit left. I put that out two days ago. It's gone. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is backtrack from where these deer are coming from, just to kind of get. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but just to get a good idea of where these deer are laying at, um, kind of show you what I'm looking for. I want to know how far. These deer bedding. There's a little S, little SMZ down here. But there's a little finger of woods. We're gonna follow this sign. These deer are working down the edge of this logging road. Should be a scrape or something like that, a rub, something that'll tell us to confirm. Okay. There you go. 
a little scrapage, a little licking branch. All right, so I can see right there, it's a trail cutting that way. So let's dive off in here. Down through here. Okay. So you got a little topography change here. You got a north wind from behind blowing this way. Isn't that about right, NT? North wind yeah. coming like this over his back. So should be something up in this something. Just gonna pick our way down through here. See if we find any beds. There's a log over there. Check that. Check this log first. Oh, there's a bed. There's a bed right there, Nick. Dang sure is, isn't it? One, one there. There's one over there. Heck, there's one right there, and there's one, I seen it, got that log is backing, probably pressure from other property across the lines like right over there, probably pressure from there, you can smell anything from over his back, he's got a skate route right out this way, you can tell. There's a big old long, long hair right here, Nick. That's it. That's where he's bedding right here. So let's get out of here before we mess it up too much. But man, he's not bedding far, is he? I man, he ain't bedding. 40 yards from the 40, 50? 40, 50. Hmm. So I think, uh, food plot that we built is in the right location, wouldn't you say there, N.T.? You kill the deer out of here. See guys, I want to show y'all, I want to show y'all more public stuff, and I am, and we are, but man, when I find, get little spots like this on private, it's hard to not put a little elbow grease into it. It's a good little property. I'm gonna show you the food plot, the kind of idea behind it. All right, so we got Colin over there finishing up the last of it. We got NT over there getting after that community service. We got Thompson and Colin food plot building service out here boys it looks good though overall i think this will be a good spot uh how it lays out as you'll see on on x is this is the top of this hill right here and the reason why i chose to put the plot here is because the winds are going to be pretty consistent right here um back over to the left here you've got a big clear cut on that side and some big oaks. So I don't want to be driving in there a bunch. I want to leave the pressure off of that. Um, and the deer, the beds we found are right out there on the back of this food plot. So I got a buffer clear cut, we got beds. And if you look at the back door where Nick's truck is, we're gonna make a back door access in here with the bush hog where we can slip in here undetected. So I appreciate y'all watching this video guys. and uh. Comment below if you've been working on food plots or how you build them. But we're going to get out of here, finish up, and go get in a tree on public land this afternoon. Going to be keying in on water. All right, guys. Well, me and uh, old coon dog right here, <laughs> we're riding over here to check some public out today. And, uh, man, I just want to, I had something on my mind I want to tell y'all. Surround yourself with with godly men that uh, 
that love God, man. Because good things happen when you surround yourself with good people. Got Nick Thompson, my buddy, brought his tractor. The man brought his tractor over there to help me. This guy, Colin Scott, he come up from uh, Brunswick, or no, Pembroke. Pembroke, to help me and just hang out with me. So, I mean, I get the whole thing. I used to hunt by myself for a long time, and I still do, and I enjoy hunting by myself. But if you're just hogging everything to yourself, you're missing, you're missing the fellowship of hunting. You're missing a good part of hunting. Um, so anyhow, that's all I had. We're about to slide over here and check on a few private land spots. We're about to check some public land. We're gonna make a choice. And I guess I'm gonna seek this boy out there. I'm gonna turn him out, see what he can go kill. But we'll see y'all in a little while. swamp looking for water checking water sources and now we're looking for water oaks persimmons so we're gonna push further down through here we found some water it's not 100 yards from the truck so I don't see any tracks around it but we're really the main thing we're looking for is water I'm trying to find some dropping persimmons it's been a struggle here lately. We'll update you if we find anything good. All right, we just jumped some deer. There's two of them. Yeah. So that's a good sign. We're getting into deer now. So the plan is just to pick our way up closer and see there's got to be a food source up here. What's going on guys? Well, let's give you a little recap. <laughs> Got a bulldog and a gator. And another bulldog. <laughs> Anyhow, me and uh, Colin dove off in this public. And our intentions was to work these sloughs and try to key in on water, but it seems like there's a ample amount of water on this public. Alright. Well Thank Colin, you, you got them taken care of, brother? That's right, buddy. Alright. Well, Thank y'all. Good, good luck to y'all. <laughs> good you luck too. to you. Let us know how you do. Absolutely. All right. So, after uh, bumping into those subscribers, we bailed and went to Plan B. I hope, I hope they have some success, but we aren't, we're in Plan B. There's a bunch of water oaks falling in here. And we're going to slide in here and get set up. Let's go. Real close. Ain't bad for a quick hunt. I mean, you're eight. Eight. Eight or nine. Well, that concludes today, guys. We was close. Real close. A little spot is just another one of them inconspicuous, out of the way, overlooked spots right off the road. And uh, we were into them. We saw what? 
nine? Yeah. Eight or nine? nine? Yeah. I believe it was just a bunch of does. Uh, in hindsight, the next time we hunt that, we'll dive in closer to that transition off the road. Uh, in Georgia, you got to be 50 yards, I believe. I'll have to look up the regulation on that. 50 but I, feet. 50 feet? Okay. Yeah. Well, we can get, you know, to where we need to be is probably 75 yards off the road. So that'll wrap up today. But y'all stay tuned because we're going to be getting back after it some more. God bless.